Hello! <laughs> Frightened you, didn't I? Hi everybody! Well today we are talking about my top five used designer handbags. So if you want to know what ones are more useful and more practical in your wardrobe, stick around. Hi everybody and welcome back. So as you saw in the thumbnail, today we are talking about my top five most used designer handbags, meaning they're the most practical, most functional, the ones I grab and go, the best ones in my wardrobe, in my collection, as in most practical, most functional, I just grab and go. And let's start, because you would have seen maybe one or two in the thumbnail. So this one, I don't think is gonna be any surprise. My number one is none other than the YSL Toy Lulu. Well, this one is definitely one of my most used little bags, designer bags in my collection. And for lots of different reasons. She's practical, she's functional, the capacity is brilliant. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag for you. I know you've you've seen from time to time, but I'm gonna actually dedicate a whole video to that. She just really fits my everyday needs in this handbag. She's durable, beautiful, beautiful soft leather, but like durable as if I just wanna throw this literally on like that. I'll be doing mod shots as well, by the way. I literally stick her on, hands free, which I love to be, and off I go. Jump into the car, go to the shops, pick up the kids, whatever I have to do. This one is absolutely brilliant. As I said, look, it rains an awful lot here in Ireland. It does in the UK, I know as well, in Germany. Hi guys. In the States, you're probably a little bit luckier with the weather, and you don't have that as much as we do, but we definitely need versatile durable bags in this climate and um, this leather as you can just see just she just keeps up amazingly really really beautiful actually one of my subbies just asked me there the other day about the hardware on the YSL Toy Lulu and as you can see here there is not a mark I have to say on this hardware no chipping no denting nothing and it was something I suppose I was kind of concerned with myself it being you know coated but the usual with YSL, amazing, amazing quality in their hardware, in their leather, in their construction and craftsmanship, in their design. I have to give it to YSL, they really, really are amazing. And I, as you know, I'm selling one of my small, the small Lulu I have, um, which is the beige one, the size up from this. It could be gone by the time this video comes out. But the reason I was selling that was because I was using this so much more. I absolutely loved the small, but it just didn't. I mean, I've seen as a Chase Amy, she just loves the size small and that fits her lifestyle perfectly. She adores her small and she prefers the small to the Lulu. So it's very, very individual and subjective as to what you use your bag for. Don't listen to me as far as my uses. I mean, only that the practical and durability and functional absolutely listen to that if you're thinking about this bag but I mean if a bigger bag suits you better go for it and just above all you know listen to yourself and what fits in your style lifestyle and what your needs are for a bag but this one has definitely been my I only have her actually about six months or so and as I said the crossbody which I, I you guys thank you so much seem to love the video I did on this and the response was brilliant so I really really appreciate that thank you so much uh, the, the video I did with the eight different ways to wear it with eight different straps and it was a fun video to do and I'm telling you it's just so like a great idea to get so much more use out of your bag and more versatility and more wear cost per wear that's another thing that I love about this bag and one of the reasons that I suppose it's my most used it's you know the price is it's still under a thousand euro I think I know they had a price increase, it might be, it was in around the 1,000 euro anyway. And for that price, you're not so worried when you're running out, um, whether it be raining or whatever, um, as far as your other, you know, more expensive bags are, you might be a little bit more worried, you might baby them a little bit more. You don't have to baby this bag at all. If you're on the fence about it at all, go out and get it. I have no hesitations in recommending this bag. Now, what I did want to recommend, or not even recommend, but tell you what my, fragrance of the day is and today we have a small little one and it's called uh, Gris Charnel. This one is in just a little decant here and um, the reason it's in a decant is because I wasn't sure whether I was going to get the full-size bottle I wanted to try it out first it's by BDK Parfum 
Gris Charnel. It is a beautiful fragrance. I will definitely be buying the 100ml in this, which is in and around 160, 170 euro. It is, there's, there's cardamom in here, vetiver, sandalwood, tonka bean, iris. So it's powdery and it's uh, smoky and it's sweet and it's seductive. And it's all the flavors, it's or all the fragrances I love. It's oriental. As I said, spicy and smoky, and I just love that and the powdery. Actually, if any of you have um, the Mimosa and Cardamom by Jo Malone, and you like that one, you will love this one. It's got that powdery, beautiful, beautiful smell. And again, of course, it's spicy and it's woody, which are the fragrances I just adore. So I just wanted to throw her in today. I should be doing her at the top of the video. Ah, but it is just a stunning fragrance. So that's the fragrance of the day and I usually carry her in my beautiful YSL Toy Lulu. Now for bag number two, I'm not going in any particular order here. I, they're all my most used bags and I'm just telling you the reasons that they are. Now the second one, you may or not be surprised, I think it'll be, no I'm not surprised Viv, <laughs> is my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. Definitely one of my most used little workhorses. Again, she is just so durable with the treated leather and the monogram. And as I said before in previous videos that I will link if you want, you know, for rain sticker inside, the capacity of this bag is beautiful. The price, I mean, she's 1600 euro. I put dollars up on screen, but for the actual durability and how long and as I said, the functionality of this bag, it's worth it. I definitely had reservations when I was buying this one at the start because I had a good few Louis Vuitton monogram. I was like, really do I need another one? And really do I need a mini backpack that looks like it should be on the shoulders of a 12 year old? No, Vivian, you don't is the answer to that. But do we need any bags, really? This is just, you know, we're entertaining ourselves and enjoying life. That's what we're doing with our hard earned money and that's okay, as long as we're being responsible, right? Particularly in the times we're in, these bags, she's just featherweight, literally featherweight, and goes with black, as you can see, goes with brown, pinks, blues, just versatile, durable, all the lovely things we need, and you will definitely get your money's worth out of this bag. I, like, 100% would recommend this bag. And by the way, next week I'm going to do a video, if you'd like to see it, on some of the things I do not like about my most used and most loved handbags. So if you'd like to see that, tune in for next week. That's a great reason to subscribe and hit that bell so that you will be notified and you won't miss out on the video. So it'd be great if you could do that, but definitely gonna do a follow up as in my most loved bags, things I don't like about them, even though they're my most loved bags, because there are always gonna be little things, you know, as I've said in previous videos, it's like a partner, it's like a friend, it's like a relationship. You love them, but you don't love everything about them. You just love them, you know, unconditionally, absolutely, but they're little things that annoy you. Same with the handbags, it's the very same as relationship. Okay, Viv, not exactly the same. Right, so my third handbag that is my, one of my most used, and um, I have spoken about this before, is none other than my Gucci Soho Disco. Well, this bag, again, I just love the color, and I think as well, you know, it's the rose beige color, and she's just, again, durable, versatile, throw over your shoulder, wear with white. She's absolutely beautiful with white, this bag. Um, I, I'm not gonna say I don't wear her with black because a lot of people would be very, very careful with this bag, you know, with color transfer. I do, I wear this bag with black, I wear it with blue jeans, I wear her with everything. I haven't, thank God, got any color transfer on her yet. But to be honest, now I'm gonna be very honest here because what's the point if I'm not? I would walk a lot with my handbags. I would, so there wouldn't be a lot of rubbing in that I jump into the car, like if I'm going for a walk or a run or something like that or exercise, I literally go out in my gym gear or whatever. But when I'm dressed up, I would get into the car, drive to the shopping mall and then jump out. So I'm literally only walking around when I'm in the actual shopping mall. So, you know, to be fair, say if you're walking for a couple of hours or something and the bag is continuously rubbing off your jeans or something like that, and if they're brand new jeans, listen, you have no hope. A lot of people recommend spraying your jeans. There is some sort of, I don't know what it is actually, it's like a Scotch guard 
I don't know if that works, so I'm not going to recommend it. Um, I'll only recommend things that I have used and I believe in. So I have heard other YouTubers talk about that. Maybe it works. Let me know if you have this bag. But definitely, um, again, the price of this ba bag. Um, I got this bag back oh, a couple of years ago and she was 700 at the time. So I think they're eight or 900 euro now. And... I mean, this was, as you know, a massive iconic bag and people would say she's out of date now. I don't think, and I don't care whether this bag is out of date. I love it. I love the color. I love how simple it is and it's understated. I know we've got the big Gigi, but you can always wear it this way. It's just a little beauty and it'll be staying. I don't want to let it go, but if I don't sell all the others, um, maybe I might, because as you know, I'm downsizing my collection from 34 to 17. So we're on the way, slowly but surely, and this is safe. For now, for now. So that is my number three of my most used handbags. Now we're down to the last two. And I'm going to go none other than, and I don't think anybody would be surprised, of course, my Pochette Matisse had to be in this video. And again, this is another one of those bags that people would say, oh, you know, that was like last year, 2019, 2020. I don't care, I adore this bag. I just love it, I throw her on, I just love the structure, I love the shape, I love the feel. Um, I just keep her stuffed, keep the shape in it. Again, some people are afraid of the Vachetta. I haven't had a problem, I've sprayed her with Appleguard. That is something I would recommend personally. Again, I had a subscriber tell me that they used to work in Louis Vuitton and they would not recommend um, the Appleguard look. You know, I went back and I said, look, I had watched, say, Shave Whitney's video, which I'm sure a lot of people have done that, and it's worked out perfectly for me. Uh, would I be putting it on over and over and over again? Because this girl was saying that it can dry out the leather because it's a natural cowhide, as I'm sure you know, and I wouldn't be putting it on over and over. I did it once. It worked perfectly for me. That's all I can say. That's all my recommendation is, and you can see for yourself on the Vachetta. So that is my experience of you know as you know this was brand new i love it some people say this bag is a nightmare because of the vachetta that's the reason they wouldn't buy it as you know i put a twilly on it and off i go and i mean all i have to cover if it does rain is literally this bit and that's what i do and i've done that people might say what is she at i don't care i'm minding my bag so again for functionality and practicality this bag is a dream stick your phone in there that's what we all want our phones are our bibles these days and uh, inside then is the usual you've seen that all before i'm sure and this i'm going to take out this strap as you know i've told you unless you're new hi and welcome hope you enjoy yourselves here and thanks to all my new subscribers and of course my old ones as you guys a lot of you would already know i love to use my guitar strap with this bag i just the comfort i can't tell you the comfort of this strap on this bag is just to die for it really is not saying that the, the strap that it comes with is not um comfortable it is actually comfortable i just i suppose last year in 2020 when all the guitar straps were in the Christian Dior particularly, which I was going to buy. So glad now, to be honest with you, that I didn't. I certainly didn't need two wide straps, but we were all getting a bit carried away, I suppose, with the Christian Dior, as we all do, but I didn't buy it. So had a little bit of self-control in that moment, just a tiny bit, you know, don't want to go too sensible here. But anyway, that's the guitar strap. And again, I just love it. I put this strap on all my other bags as well because it's removable it is also adjustable as you can see here and as is this little beauty here i would totally 100 percent recommend this bag whether you get it in this whether you get it in the reverse mono whether you get it in the um emprunt leather is beautiful as well any of those you will not be disappointed now the reason i'm holding on to this is because i use this strap for my last pick of the day and my fifth most useful bag that I've particularly been using in 2020 and 2021 is none other than Missy Moo Mini Speedy HL. And what I do with this beauty is I just grab my little Louis Vuitton strap that I got with my Pachette Matisse and I put her on from side to side and I just slick her, slick her? That's what I do, I slick her. I sling her over my shoulder and off I go 
with my little Miss Pretty. And this little lady carries my phone and I just have to show you actually because I'd say some people are like, that bag does not carry your phone because this one is actually slightly smaller than the Nano Speedy, which is a nightmare to get your hands on at the moment. Actually, let me know. Maybe it's a little bit easier to get right now. But here's the phone. Mine is the iPhone 11 Plus or 12. 11 plus and sticker in here literally look in she goes like seriously these bags are so deceiving and as you ladies and gents would know once the bag fits the phone it passes the test this little beauty is from uh dress up your purse and my uh, discounts are down below if you would like to get yourself a 15 percent discount there you go i gain nothing from that it's for you and uh, so that's her that is my fifth most used bag at the moment Louis Vuitton mini speedy HL mine is in absolutely pristine condition and as you know this is a vintage little piece I love her if I had to let her go would I oh, very reluctantly I really wouldn't want to particularly because I can wear this crossbody and off I go to a lovely little lunch or just literally grab and go up to the shops so that's it for my five most used my top five most used designer handbags I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you join in next week for uh, the video that I'm going to do on things that I do not like about my lo most loved bags. And until then, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.